Hi, this is Kelly from Play, Learn, Talk, and in today's Boom Card tutorial, we're going to learn how you can actually add sound to an image without losing the capability of flipping and rotating that image. Now, in the past, when you've been creating Boom Cards, you may have used the method of actually pulling out a sound widget and importing your image as the background, and that's actually what you're looking at here, that technique. Now, you'll notice I have some bees pulled out. It's one image, but it's a little bit distorted from how the clip artist originally designed it. It's the dimensions are stretched out. So when you use the traditional method, you kind of run into that problem and you don't have a way of actually rotating the image. Now, when I move it, you still will hear the sound Bees. or when I click on it, Bees. you hear the sound because it is a sound widget. So let's Bees. go ahead and take a look at what we're going to create in just a couple seconds. Here I have two images. These are not sound widgets, but they have the sound attached to the image and they move together as one. You'll notice the bees on the left are in one particular position and then the bees on the right are actually the mirror image of those bees. All right, I can move either one of them. Bees. Bees. And they do exactly what I want. And when I stretch them out, they're going to keep the proportion. All right. So let's go into the workstation and see how you can start doing this today. All right. So here's our workstation. And this little thing right here is my favorite tool. And if you're new to the channel, then I'll just tell you right now, I love to use the caption pick for practically every fun kind of thing that I do with my cards. So I'll go ahead and pull it out for you. Here it is, caption pick on the left. You're gonna pull it out and you're just gonna delete everything inside of it. All right, so here's our caption pick and we want to pull out our image and we want to pull out a sound. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> Let's pull out our image. All right, so we're gonna grab these bees and I'm gonna size them down by grabbing the corner, okay? and they're keeping their proportions really nicely, okay? So what I wanna do now is get it inside the container, all right? So I'm gonna click on the handle, use a keyboard shortcut, Command-C, I'm gonna delete the image, and then I'm gonna click inside the caption pick. Command-V is my keyboard shortcut. Now I know the bees are in the caption pick because when I move the caption pick, they move along with it. I just need to go ahead and center them, put them wherever I want, all right? So there is our image. Now we want to attach a sound to the image, correct? So we're gonna go over to sound, pull out that sound widget, and I'm going to look for my Vs. Let's see, I'm down here. That's not doing that. Probably just because I'm doing a tutorial. Okay, so here are my Vs sound file. Bees. I'm going to click on that and now I want to do the same thing. I want to get my sound file into the caption pick. All right, so I'm going to click that blue tail, command C shortcut, delete it. And I'm going to be careful not to click the image here. You notice when I hover over the image, it highlights both of the containers or the image and the container. I want to make sure only the container is highlighted like that. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, command V. So now my sound is inside of this container. All right. I know because they all move together. Okay. Now in this example, I want it to be a draggable image. So I'm going to point out, I'm not making this image image draggable or the sound draggable, I'm making the container draggable. So I'm going to click on the container, hit draggable, and then everything will be able to move together. But let's take a peek real quick at what's going to happen with our sound. Notice how small it is. So we're going to go over to preview. And when I move this image, the sound does not play and we have this really hideous sound icon just right there. Okay, so it only works Please. when we click on it. So let's go ahead and fix that really quickly. And we're going to move the sound image up. I want it to be the entire box here. All right. So there's the sound image. However, we have this, you know, big icon blocking our image. So we're going to go over to where it says background and hit this on the far left, the transparent image. All right. So the sound icon is gone. So now when we go into preview, when I click on it or move it, Bees. It doesn't matter where in the box I do it, the sound is going to be clicked or accessible. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of our border. So I need to highlight the caption pick, go over to border and just get rid of that border. Now, what if I wanna be able to rotate this? Okay, so we're gonna click on the caption pick itself and we're gonna duplicate the entire thing move it over okay now you notice when I have the caption pick clicked on over here I don't have the option to flip it I don't have the image options but when I click on the image 
we have, let's see, where is it at? Oh, actually, okay. <laughs> so the image thing is still not coming up because we layered our sound on top. So we're going to click on this part right here, which is actually our sound. We're gonna go to Z order and hit back. All right, so now our image is once again on top. And when I click on image over here, image tools pops up. Okay, so it wasn't popping up because the sound was on top. All right, so now this one doesn't have the sound on top. So now we can actually flip those beads. Let's go ahead and just flip them over. All right, so now there are two different images. The sound is on top on this one, and this, I'm sorry, is layered back on this one, and the sound is on top on this one. But let me show you how both of them work, which is really nice. Bees. So sound works, Bees. sound works, and they're flipped. Bees. All right, so I hope you found this tutorial really helpful, and just leave a comment below and let me know how it worked for you, and I will see you in the next tutorial.